Okay, so today we're gonna go check out Silver Glen Springs Creation Area. Just made a pit stop at Wawa's to grab some smoothies and a nice coffee. If you haven't been to Wawa's, they have great beverages. They also have uh, food, they've got salads and pasta, all kinds of stuff. So if you haven't checked them out, um, definitely should, but we will see you when we get there. Okay, so we are at Silver Glen Springs and we're gonna go check out the area and the swimming. So this is a day use park from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The parking lot. <laughs> I think there's some areas that are a little bit deeper, but I haven't found them yet. But overall, it's beautiful. This water is, it's crazy how clear it is. Um, the park is really well maintained and very, very clean. Tons of area to spread out and have space between, you know, you and other people and actually spend the day here swimming and picnicking. So all in all, so far, it's a, it's a great deal for six months.
large fish. I'm not actually sure what kind they were. I'm going to have to look that up. Um, but it does get deeper. You can go in an area. I still am, you know, just maybe four and a half feet deep right now. Um, so it's not, you know, super deep. And I don't think that you're supposed to cross over the next line just to swim if you're not with a boat. Um, they don't have signs posted, so I didn't really want to cross over if you're not supposed to. But there's tons of boats that are just kind of docked out and hanging out, which is pretty cool. But this is definitely a beautiful, beautiful area. I know Juniper Springs is pretty close by. Um, it's about, I believe it was about 20 miles back. So maybe 25, 30 minutes. Um, and that's another one that we want to check out as well. But Silver Glen is beautiful. And there's, you know, a lot of action going on today for it being a weekday. But it's gorgeous. It's definitely, like I said before, worth the money. Now, they don't have regular bathrooms here. They do just have um, outhouses. So that is something, you know, to keep in mind if you're not a fan of outhouses. That is all that they have here. So, um, you know, just a little bit of information to help you plan a little bit better. But all in all they have a separate spot over there to launch with kayaks and paddle boards and then this is the area where you can come in to swim so yeah if you guys have not checked this area out you really need to it's beautiful and definitely worth the hour and a half drive we had to do to get here all right guys see you on the next adventure
So I found the deep point, um, it's really deep, and that school of fish was insane. So this place I did not think could get any cooler, but it just did. So enjoy the video footage from below um, at the deepest point with all of the fish. He's doing video too. So I am swimming and he is relaxing on the side. That's beautiful. But I hear thunder, so I may have to get out. There's Gary right there. He's getting some video too while I smirk and swim. All right. Silver Glen. It's beautiful. Okay, so definitely really enjoyed Silver Glen. The place was amazing. The video footage was amazing. Um, I told Gary, I'm like, this is by far my most favorite spring that we've gone to and visited. It was unbelievable. The schools of fish here, crazy. It's crazy how many there are. Didn't see any manatees today, but that's all right. So we're going to be coming back another time and doing some more footage but right now there's a storm rolling in and um, some thunder and lightning so we were only here uh, maybe an hour and a half so not very long long enough to get some sparkling and in swimming um, but we definitely will be back highly suggested if you haven't been here worth the six dollars per person and then remember if kids are under five years old they're free all right guys thanks for coming along and we'll see you on the next adventure.